Hello all. Today we will start another very easy topic from your syllabus that is factorization of polynomials. Okay. In this two topic we are going to study one is remainder theorem, another is factor theorem. Now before we start, let's see one very simple example. You all know division, right? So I will relate this topic. Suppose um, seven divided by two. So how do you do? Two three is a six. Subtract six, right? What is the answer here? 1. You all have studied. We are not kidding. We are in standard 10. But still, if this you know, the full lesson is very interesting for you. So, here 3 is what? Quashint. 1 is what? Remainder. That's it. Everybody is clear of this concept. This is the dividend and this is divisor. Right? Take another example. Suppose you divide 8 by 2. 4 is a 8. What is the remainder here? 0. Question is 4. Right? Now here what you have to remember is is 2 a factor of a 7? The answer is no. Right? Why? Because remainder is 1. And is 2 a factor of 8? The answer is yes. Why? The remainder is 0. That's it. This is the only concept you need to understand. When the remainder is 0, divisor is a factor of dividend. Right? And if it is not, it is not a factor. This is the general knowledge everybody has. Now, we will talk in terms of polynomial. Suppose this is a polynomial. 5x cube plus 3x square minus 12x minus 8. And you have to divide it by x minus 2. This is our division. This also I know you all have done it. Still we will revise it. Okay. So first of all how I would present in the solution is. I write it as f of x. The given expression I express as f of x. That is f of x is 5x cube plus 3x square minus 12x minus Eight. This is the called the function of x because this polynomial depends on the value of x. It depends on the function of that. Okay. Now what is the divisor here? Divisor is x minus 2. So you have studied the long division method. Right. So I am going to divide 5x cube plus 3x square minus 12x minus 8 by x minus 2. Let's revise the steps also for this. We need to do some rough work here. So it goes smoothly. You can do it in your mind also but everyone should be able to understand. So all the details are here. Now no magic is taking place. There is a reason for every step. 5x cube divide by x what is the answer 5x square so the first term of our question you know will be what 5x square then how we do if we write the question here 3 right so what you subtract is 2 3 is a 6 so if i have written 5x square as a question here what should i subtract 5x square multiplied by x minus 2 i have to subtract so what expression I get 5x cube minus 10x square. So I write it here 5x cube minus 10x square. Then since I am subtracting you might remember when we subtract the um, polynomial expressions like that way. We need to of course change in algebraic expression you have studied. So no sign will become minus. No sign means plus. Plus becomes minus. And minus becomes plus here. Gets cancelled. Plus 13x square. What you take down is minus 12x minus 8. Again the same procedure. You have got 13x square. You are dividing it by x. You get 13x. So, next term will be what? Plus 13x. With this 13x multiply x minus 2, you get 
thirteen x square minus twenty six x. Right? Again, change the sign. Minus minus becomes plus. Gets cancelled, and this will be what? What left here will be fourteen x minus eight. So we'll continue. Fourteen x divided by x. Answer is what? Fourteen. So right here, plus fourteen. With fourteen, you multiply x minus two. So fourteen two is a sorry fourteen x minus fourteen two is a twenty eight. Change the sign. Minus minus is plus. Twenty-eight minus eight. What is the answer here? Twenty. Now twenty is our remainder here, right? Because degree of our divisor is one. Here it is a constant polynomial. Its degree is zero. So when you happen to get the polynomial here, whose degree is less than our divisor, we call it as a remainder. In normal division, what we do? the number we obtained here if it is less than our divisor we call it as a remainder here we check in terms of degree okay so our question remainder dividend and divisor this part is clear to you now why i have taken this is here if i ask you a question if x minus 2 is a factor of the given polynomial f of x your answer will be no why because the remainder is 20 okay what would have been the condition had it come zero you could have said this expression is the factor of f of x right so remainder and factor how they are related if the remainder is not zero x minus 2 is not a factor if remainder is zero it would have been a factor now when i want to know only this part that if x minus 2 is the factor of a given expression or not that means basically i am not interested in this part probably only knowing the remainder will also do so is there any way that we can directly find the remainder instead of doing all these things so that we can decide the divisor is the factor of the polynomial given or not is there any way yes there is one very interesting way what it is i'll show you see we have taken f of x what is our f of x 5x cube plus 3x square minus 12x minus 8 our divisor here is x minus 2 right now if in this function of x i replace x by 2 why x by 2 there is a reason for that divisor is x minus 2 in your mind this x minus 2 you put equal to 0 so what will be the value of x x will be 2 so 2 so if i replace this x by 2 let us see what happens i am replacing x by 2 means 5 in place of x i write 2 cube plus 3 2 raised to 2 minus 12 into 2 minus 8 for this lesson you need to be very uh, careful about the calculation especially when the integer or fraction part is coming i am sure you will do it 5 2 cube is 8 plus 3 Into four minus twenty four minus eight, you get forty plus twelve minus twenty four minus eight. Both are negative. You can add also side by side minus thirty two. So you have got fifty two minus thirty two. What is the answer? The answer is twenty. <laughs> match this is the remainder this is the remainder 
So what is the learning? If f of x is divided by x minus 2, then f of 2 actually is the remainder. This is what is the remainder theorem. So what is the remainder theorem? Very simple. Remainder theorem is if f of x like in this example this is our f of x is divided by say a binomial x minus a for example x minus a then the remainder will be what remainder is f of a hope you all have understood what is the remainder theorem if f of x is divided by x minus a, remainder is f of a. You can guess if it was f of a is divided by x plus a, remainder will be f of minus a. That's it. This is the first part. We are going to study what is the remainder theorem. This is the example. Then here I will also discuss what is factor theorem. Factor theorem, I think you also will be able to express. If f of x is divided by x minus a then if the remainder f of a is 0 then x minus a is a factor of f of a this is very interesting language but you will be able to understand listen carefully if f of x is divided by x minus a and f of a is 0 you know f of a is what remainder and if the remainder is 0 you know if the remainder is 0 let's write dr c remainder is 0 2 is the factor of a so if remainder is 0 x minus a will be factor of f of then x minus a will be or is a factor of f of x that's it remainder theorem factor theorem remainder theorem gives you a shortcut without actual division how to find the remainder when a polynomial is given uh, divided by a binomial and factor theorem only tells you if remainder is zero the divisor or the binomial according to our syllabus is a factor of the given expression first part I am sure you are clear with this. Now let us see how to use this remainder theorem in solving the question. Your exercise, question number one, second part I have taken here. Question is find the remainder when 3x cube plus 2x square minus 5x plus 17 is divided by x plus 3. Right? Question you all must have understood. First note down. What is our function? f of x is 3x cube plus 2x square minus 5x plus 17. Copy correctly. What is our divisor here? x plus 3. Now in this lesson when this kind of question is asked you are supposed to use remainder theorem only. You will not divide and find the answer though you can do but we are expected to use here remainder theorem so first statement you have to write is by remainder theorem by remainder theorem what is the remainder remainder will be our divisor is x plus 3 what i am saying in your mind you think x plus 3 is equal to 0. Therefore, what you get? x is equal to minus 3. By observation also you can understand. Divisor x plus 3. So, x will be minus 3. So, remainder will be f of replace x by minus 3. What is f of minus 3? 3. Minus 3 cube plus 2 minus 3 square minus 5 into minus 3 plus 
17 that will be 3 minus 3 cube 3 cube is 27 negative it will be okay so 3 into minus 27 in haste do not make any mistakes here plus 2 into minus 3 square 9 minus into minus plus 15 plus 17 yeah. okay this will be minus 81 plus 18 plus 15 plus 17 now if you add all positive numbers you can add here minus 81 18 plus 15 plus 17 that is equal to 50 the answer is what sign of the greater number negative minus 31 so what is the answer remainder which you have found using remainder theorem is equal to minus 31 i repeat the steps f of x you note down divisor x plus 3 so you are going to replace x for minus 3 substitute this is we are finding using remainder theorem do mention it be very careful with calculation this is your answer okay i'll take one more example 8x cube plus 6x square minus 5x minus 3 is divided by 2x plus 3. You have to find the remainder. So first thing note down what is f of x? Copy it correctly. Divisor is 2x plus 3. We are going to use the remainder theorem. By remainder theorem you know it will be f of a. So what is our a that we have to find? Again put 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. That will give you 2x is equal to minus 3. So x will be what? Minus 3 upon 2. So according because our divisor is 2x plus 3. By remainder theorem. Remainder will be f of minus 3 upon 2. That is replace all x's by minus 3 upon 2. So 8. Minus 3 upon 2 whole cube plus 6 into minus 3 upon 2 whole square minus 5 into minus 3 upon 2 minus 3 is equal to 8 into minus 27 2 cube 8 which gets cancelled here plus 6 into plus 9 upon 4 minus into minus plus 5 3 is a 15 upon 2 minus 3 you can see here by 2 you can cancel it so what do you have minus 27 plus 27 upon 2 plus 15 upon 2 minus 3. There are many ways to solve. It depends how you do. I will go here by LCM method. So, whole is 2 here. What it will become? Minus 27 multiplied by 2 minus 54 plus 27 because you know it is 2 plus 15 minus no denominator so 3 2's are 6 here solve it what it will be minus 27 plus 9 upon 2 that will give you minus 18 upon 2 that is minus 9. So, what is the remainder you have found here? Remainder is minus 9. That's it. I hope 
you all have understood this we will uh, take a break here solve more questions of this pattern first make how to find the remainder you should be good at that okay take care